hello and welcome. If you are watching this, I am sorry. Uh, today I have here a couple pairs of Farrier's hoof nippers. Um, they are both quite old. Um, these have been sitting in a drawer as spares for some time. Um, I kept saying I was going to get them sent off to get rebuilt and never did. This is an old pair of Lopez nippers. Uh, these are somewhere around 20 years old now. Uh, they've been in use for quite a while. Um, they're actually not in terrible shape. Um, the the uh, jaw needs to be cleaned up mostly is really all that looks to be quote wrong with these. My GE nippers here on the other hand are in quite a miserable shape. <laughs> um, you can see the, the handles touch um, and they are not supposed to. The, uh, oh, the rivet is very worn out. You can actually see quite a bit of movement here. Uh, and it is cracked right along through the inside there. So these guys are probably just a complete write-off. I wouldn't even bother trying to send these in because they'd probably tell me, well, you're being dumb, just go buy a new pair. Uh, I figured I'd give a shot at trying to mess with these because the my everyday carry have gotten kind of uh, loose and junky as well. I'm going to uh, take them apart, pull this rivet out, and see what they look like, uh, see what the hole looks like, and... Uh, Maybe we try to weld it back together. Getting these apart, these do have a, a section embossed into them that makes for a uh, fixed side of the rivet and a uh, hinge side. Uh, they do this so that it only wears on one side so they last a little bit longer. If you have both sides being able to pivot, both sides wear and you end up with loose uh, nippers much faster. Same thing applies to tongs. Some people like to do the same thing for tongs. Yeah, this crack goes almost all the way through it's like 95 percent of the way through there uh, which 95 is better than 100. Uh, i'm going to go ahead and clean this out with a uh, angle grinder uh, i'm going to open that up and i'm just going to fill it back in with the flux core i mean what's it going to hurt these are junk already i would tig these like get some stainless rod and what have you but that's a lot of work and I don't know if this is, if this whole process is even going to work. So, yeah, we're going to need to make a new rivet, which is not a problem. That looks like a pretty, just a 3 8 inch hole. Um, I probably have a hardened bolt uh, I can use for a rivet. The holes don't look like they've been uh, ovaled. Yeah, this one may be a little tiny bit. Um, but you can see almost all of the wear that was causing all that looseness is in the rivet itself. Uh, so if I can use like a hardened bolt, which should be, uh, should be made from like 1045 or something similar. Um, and uh, I do have some 01, maybe I'll make a rivet. Nah, I'll just use a bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out and we'll uh, set the welder up and buzz it back in. Welded itself to the table.
that's a half decent rough cleanup. Uh, let's see. Put a new pivot. How these line up. Oh, that's right. Once upon a time, I did file the stops on these. Hmm. Just a question. Do I just weld it back up since we've been welding? Build it up, establish a new, sh a new stop so they sit flush there? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that fits great. <laughs> Definitely have enough there. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and clean that back up in the vise again. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing that, and I'll be right back. Okay, with that roughed in, I got them put back together. These cheeks line up like they're supposed to now. And you can see how much of a gap we have here between the blades. Now, that's not going to cut anything. I'm going to get a torch, and I'm going to selectively heat uh, right in here right in there and close them back up uh, and then adjust these these top ends oh uh, we'll do that adjustment before we set the rivet finally uh, just to be sure that that's the way we want to go about it What I'm doing here is taking the uh, file and wedging it in between so that I'm doing both sides at the same time. That way they stay parallel. So I may not have done the prettiest job uh, or the longest lasting one, but uh, they sure are sharp. I, I don't know how long these welded sections are going to last and 
actually I can't remember which side I oh yeah it was this side I welded um, but uh, oh yeah I, I can barely tell which side was the repaired side where that crack was um, and I have no idea how long it'll last how long the rivet will last how long any of it will do anything um, but it'll be fun to put some use on these see how long they last and uh, oh I might actually try to make a pair of these uh, I have some 01 and uh, an abundance of time um, I don't know let me know if you'd like to see me try to hack my way through building a pair of farrier nippers <laughs> I think that'd be amusing so anyway uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time when I either make something or fix something my broke ass can't replace.